I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review and installation of the Barricade Trail Force HD front bumper with LED lights and winch combination fitting all 2007 and up JKs. Today we're going to talk through the installation of this kit which is going to be a fairly simple one out of three wrenches. Even though there are lights on this bumper and you have the winch, you're really only making a couple of connections at your battery. So again, one out of three wrenches for this install, but do give yourself around two hours to get it done, maybe even a little bit more. We'll talk more about the install in just a second. We're also going to talk through the construction and a few of the features of this kit. This combination includes, of course, both your bumper and your winch. You know that these two pieces are going to work together. You're going to save a little bit of money by buying them at the same time, and you're going to end up with a package that is both very useful and will also drastically transform the look of the front of your Jeep. Now, this kit is available with a couple of different bumpers. This one in particular has the LED lights built into it. These lights are a little bit more of a marker light than they are an auxiliary light that's actually gonna throw a lot of light in front of you on the road or on the trail. But if you're looking for that, if you like that look of an integrated built-in flush mount light and you want a winch that's gonna be very functional as well, all while saving a little bit of money, buying them together in this combo pack is a really good option. So obviously there are two separate pieces here and first we'll talk about the bumper. This is the Barricade Trail Force HD front bumper with integrated LED lights. This is going to be 5 30 seconds inch steel covered in a textured black powder coat finish. It does of course have the winch mount right up on top and your fair lead mount as well. It has two D-ring mounts that are welded and bolt directly into your frame horns giving you a really solid connection for either a snatch strap recovery or using a snatch block with your winch in order to double the pulling power of the winch. And this does also come with the three quarter inch D-rings as well. So it's not a piece that you have to purchase separately, which is really nice, something you don't have to think about. Uh, this of course has a two inch hoop up on top of the bumper, which is going to offer a little bit of protection to your winch from branches and brush. And it also has two light mount tabs up on the top allowing you to mount any traditional single post light, whether you're looking to mount some additional auxiliary lights uh, or even a light bar up here, you do have a couple of different options. Now this is a mid-width bumper from Barricade, so it is going to be slightly shorter than that factory front bumper, but even if you have a factory uh, fender flare on your Jeep, I still think that this is going to look pretty good. Sometimes when you go with a stubby bumper, you really want an aggressive fender flare that jets in to give you a nice clean look from the front. With this, you can get away with running a bunch of different styles of fender flare because it is a mid-width bumper. So you are going to get some protection and you're going to get those additional features that we just talked about. Of course, this is the kit that comes with the winch as well. And this is Barricade's 9,500 pound winch with synthetic line. Now, the general rule of thumb for the pulling capacity of a winch is that you want it to be roughly double the loaded trail weight of your vehicle. So if you have a really heavy armored up four-door JK that you plan on bearing up to the axles in mud, maybe you want to consider the 12,000 pound winch. However, if you have a little bit of a lighter four-door or certainly a light two-door rig, 9,500 pounds is going to be more than enough for you. Now, this is going to be a five and a half horsepower motor. This does have a three-stage planetary gear set, so it is going to give you a good bit of pulling power. Now, in general, I really like a synthetic line. It's going to be more expensive up front. You're going to have to replace it and maintain it more often, and it is going to be more expensive every time you purchase a new one. However, the benefit to a synthetic line is that it's lighter weight. It's not going to kink. It's easier to drag up those muddy hills, and it doesn't store energy like a steel cable will. This is going to stretch just like steel will, but when steel is under load and it breaks, it snaps back, it can hit somebody causing an injury or just some damage to your Jeep. With the synthetic line, again, it doesn't store that energy, so if it were to break, it falls directly to the ground fairly harmlessly. You can mount your solenoid box right up on top here, or you could, of course, remote mount that if you chose to. Now, there are winches on the market that have some additional features that if you're gonna be doing some really long, hard pulls every single weekend, I might recommend spending a little bit more on one of those other winches. However, if you're going to be using this occasionally, this is going to be a really nice winch that's gonna save you some money over those other options that are available. This install is going to be a one out of three wrench install that will probably take you right around two hours. And the first step in getting this installed is going to be removing your factory front bumper. 
You'll do that by removing the splash shield on the bottom and the frame cover on the top, removing the fog light sockets and the fog light wiring harness, and finally unbolting that bumper and removing it from the Jeep. Now at this point, I would recommend installing the wiring harness for the lights on your new bumper. These are not going to plug directly into where your factory fog lights do, but this does come with a really nice harness that includes the switch, the relay, the fuse, and will plug directly into these lights, so all you have to do is pick up power at the battery. So you're gonna have to pull the switch wire through the firewall, get the switch mounted inside the cab. You're gonna run the two power wires, uh, positive and negative, up to the battery where you'll pick up power there, and then you'll run the actual connection ends down to the front of the frame where the bumper is going to be. Once you get that in place, I would recommend bolting your winch up. First, you're going to bolt the solenoid box on top of the winch if that's where you choose to mount it. Attach your wires uh, from the box to the winch itself. So all you're going to have are those two long leads that go up to the battery. And finally, bolt your winch onto the bumper. Before that, you're gonna get your fair lead in place. So once you have the winch bolted up to the bumper, you're gonna have a big heavy package. Why not install the bumper first and then the winch? Well, it can be a little bit difficult to get to those winch mounting bolts if you do it that way. So again, I recommend the winch gets mounted to the bumper and the bumper and the winch as a package get mounted onto the Jeep. Once you do have everything bolted up, you simply lift the bumper and winch onto the frame rails and use the included hardware to get it bolted down tight. Because you've already run all of the wiring for your lights, you simply plug those lights in uh, you'll want to stretch the two uh, positive and negative wires from your winch through your grill up along the fender and attach those to the battery as well as attaching the two leads that you ran for your wiring harness to the battery as well. And that's why I'm still giving this a one out of three wrenches. Even though you do have the lights and the winch to wire up, it's really just four wires, that two that get attached to the positive terminal of your battery, two that get attached to the negative terminal of your battery. So even if you're not someone who's comfortable with automotive wiring, that's something that really anybody can do. As far as the tools necessary to get this installed, really just your traditional hand tools, no wiring tools or anything like that are necessary. This is gonna be a pretty straightforward and a pretty easy install for anyone to do in their driveway. Overall, I think that this bumper and winch combination is fairly priced. Of course, you're going to save some money over purchasing the winch and the bumper separately. And if you're looking for the features that are offered in this kit, I do think this is gonna be a really nice option for those of you who are going to be occasionally using your winch. This is gonna save you some money over those top tier winches that are much more expensive that has additional features. And of course, you're going to have the bumper for its features and its protection. Overall, these are gonna work really well together. They're going to drastically change the look of your Jeep. And I think that they're gonna be a pretty nice option for the price. So if you're looking for a front bumper and winch combination for your Jeep to offer some more function and drastically change the look of the front of your Jeep, I think this is going to be a fairly priced option. So that's my review of the Barricade Trail Force HD front bumper with LED lights and winch combination fitting all 2007 and up JKs that you can find right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.